6 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headline. The Prime Minister says uplift of the agriculture sector with latest technology is the foremost priority of the government. Russia has expressed a willingness to expand cooperation with Pakistan in different sectors. Asian Development Bank plans to invest $2 billion in Pakistan in the energy sector during the next three years. The AJK Legislative Assembly has appealed the international community to take serious notice of the Indian oppressive measures against innocent Kashmiris and help them in getting their inalienable right to self-determination. <music> Top State Department officials will brief the American House of Subcommittee on Asia about prevailing situation in occupied Kashmir tomorrow. On the first day of the first cricket test match against Pakistan in Rawalpindi, Sri Lanka in the first innings were 202 runs for the loss of five wickets at Stumps today. In uh, the news in detail, Prime Minister Imran Khan says uplift of the agriculture sector, especially introducing latest technology in it and providing every possible facility to farmers is the foremost priority of the government. Talking to the Chief Asian Development Bank for Rural Development and Food Security, Dr. Akmal Siddiq in Islamabad today, he said agriculture is the backbone of the country's economy. The Prime Minister said practical steps are being taken to enhance agriculture yield, apart from enhancing the production of major crops such as wheat, cotton, rice through use of latest techniques and technology. The government is also giving emphasis on fisheries and other such important sectors. Imran Khan said the government is also determined to benefit from the Chinese expertise in the agriculture sector. The chief of the Asian Development Bank for Rural Development and Food Security briefed the Prime Minister on Asian Development Bank's study on the agriculture sector. He said the Asian Development Bank has approved a grant of $1 million for the promotion of information and communication technology in the agriculture sector. He said implementation on this project will be started next year. The Speaker of National Assembly, Asad Kassar, and the Leader of the House in the Senate, Shibli Faraz, called on the Prime Minister, Imran Khan, in Islamabad today. They exchanged views on matters relating to legislation. The Defence Minister, Parvez Khatak, Planning Minister, Asad Umar, Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Azam Swati, and the Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs, Ali Mohammed Khan, were also present during the meeting. Russia has expressed the willingness to expand cooperation with Pakistan in different sectors, including industry, agriculture, energy, medicine, and railways. The desire was expressed by the Russian Trade Minister Denis Valentinovich during the sixth meeting of Pakistan-Russia Intergovernmental Commission in Islamabad today. Later addressing a joint news conference along with the Minister for Economic Affairs, Hamad Azhar, the Russian Trade Minister said we will extend cooperation to Pakistan to revive the steel mills and enhance its productivity. He expressed interest in building geological capacity of Pakistan apart from building north-south gas pipeline. Denis Valentinovich said Russia wants to cooperate with Pakistan in aircraft manufacturing sector. He said there are also immense opportunities for cooperation in the field of agriculture. Speaking on the occasion, the Minister for Economic Affairs, Hamad Azhar, said Pakistan desires to transform relations with Russia into a strategic partnership. The Asian Development Bank plans to invest $2 billion in the energy sector during the next three years. This was stated by a high-level Asian Development Bank team headed by the Director General for Central and West Asia Department, Wagner Lipash, during a meeting with the Federal Minister for Par, Omar Ayub Khan, in Islamabad today. The Country Director of the Asian Development Bank in Pakistan, Xiao Hong Yang, was also present during the meeting. The meeting took stock of Asian Development Bank's funded projects in the energy sector. 
it was decided that a comprehensive portfolio review meeting will be held by the end of this month between the part division and the bank to steer the projects to their logical culmination. It was also agreed that all efforts by both sides will be made to ensure maximum transparency during the execution of the projects. During the meeting, the Asian Development Bank evinced interest in facilitating technical studies for the gas storage facility in Pakistan. The British High Commissioner to Pakistan, Dr. Christian Turner, called on the Chief of the Army Staff, General Kamar Javid Bajwa, at the General Headquarters in Rawalpindi today. The Army Chief welcomed him to Pakistan and wished him well for the assignment. During the meeting, matters of mutual interest were also discussed. This is Radio Pakistan. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, says Pakistan stands by the oppressed Kashmiri brethren and condemned the fascist Indian government for its inhuman treatment of minorities. He was talking to the Pakistan High Commissioner designate to Sri Lanka, retired Major General Mohammad Saad Khatak in Islamabad today. He underscored that all High Commissioners should highlight the true perspective on the Kashmir issue and the Indian oppression there. The Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says the oppressed people of occupied Kashmir are looking towards the international community, especially the Muslim Ummah, to get rid them to get rid of the Indian brutalities. Talking to his Saudi counterpart Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah in Riyadh today, he said India has put eight million people of occupied Kashmir under siege for the last four months. The foreign minister said India has put a complete communication blackout in occupied Kashmir to hide the reality from the eyes of the world. He said there is a complete suspension of fundamental human rights in occupied Kashmir. The two leaders exchanged views on the situation in occupied Kashmir and matters of regional and international importance. They expressed the resolve to continue consultations to enhance bilateral cooperation in diverse fields and to promote regional peace and stability. The Azad Jammu and Kashmir Legislative Assembly, during its session held in Islam in Muzaffarabad today, appealed the international community and human rights organizations to take a serious notice of the Indian oppressive measures against innocent Kashmiris and help them get their birthright inalienable to self-determination. The House, through identical resolutions presented by Sardar Mir Akbar Khan, Sardar Atik Ahmed Khan, Malik Mohammed Nawaz and Mohammed Sagir Khan, strongly condemned the continuous curfew, lockdown, human rights abuses, the so-called surge in cordon operations, arrest of youths, children, women, and torturing them in Indian-occupied Kashmir. The resolution stated that entire population of the occupied valley is under siege from the 5th of August till date. Members of the American House Subcommittee on Asia will be briefed on the prevailing situation in occupied Kashmir by top American State Department officials tomorrow. In a message shared on Twitter, the American Congressman Brad Sherman a Democrat serving the San Fernando area of California said top intelligence officials will also be part of the classified briefing that is open to other members of the House. According to Brad Sherman, the classified briefing has been arranged on his request as the chair of the U.S. House Subcommittee on Asia. It is not the first time that the subcommittee will be discussing the alarming human rights situation and military occupation of the Kashmir Valley. And now cricket on the first day of the first test match against Pakistan in Rawalpindi, Sri Lanka in the first innings were 202 runs for the loss of five wickets at stumps today. Sri Lankan batsman De Silva with 38 and De Quella with 11 were at the crease when the, stumps, when the stumps were drawn for the day. Pakistani bowler Naseem Shah backed two wickets while Muhammad Abbas, Shaheen Shah Afridi, Usman Shinwari took one wicket each. And finally, the weather. Rain, thunderstorm, and snowfall over mountains is expected in most districts of the Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, North Lochistan, Gilgit, Baltistan, Kashmir, and coastal areas of Sindh during the next 12 hours. Heavy falls are also expected at a few places in Upper Punjab and Kashmir during the period. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, go on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.